Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are roasting some sweet potatoes, browning up some butter, and creating this amazing, flavorful, creamy, velvety, smooth, sweet potato pie. You guys are gonna love this recipe. Let's go. All right, so the first step, we're gonna poke some holes in our sweet potato, just like this. Be careful, don't stab yourself like I almost did. All right, we're gonna place this on our little baking tray lined with some foil paper. We're gonna bake it for about 425, for about 45 minutes, just until it's all super tender like this, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, now, so while our potatoes are cooling off, we're gonna go ahead and do our brown butter, which is really, really easy, you know? I have my little heavy bottom skillet here. I got my butter. It's gonna dump it right into that little skillet. And I always use unsalted butter for all my recipes, so yeah, unsalted butter. Now, once that butter has melted, it's gonna start sizzling a little bit. Keep that heat on medium then it's gonna get a little bit foamy and then you're gonna start seeing like little brown bits in the bottom of the pan be sure to whisk it whisk it whisk it really good that butter is gonna start turning all brown lightly golden it's gonna start smelling all nutty and kind of like caramel it's just like the bomb diggity all right that looks perfect then go ahead and place it in a little glass dish like that's so we're gonna let it cool off before we add this into our sweet potatoes all right now here look at that oh yes luscious luscious brown butter honey it's gonna really give our pie a nice a different level you know a little intensity to it okay so i'm gonna peel off my sweet potatoes and look at these people just walking around like they don't see me doing a video my gosh and here's what happens you know behind the scenes always my kids playing i'm never in my studio kitchen alone ever all right so we're gonna go ahead and just scoop out our flesh beautiful these are like some really bright bright um, sweet potatoes. I like it. Really, really bright. Okay, so yeah, go ahead and scoop those out. And I'm going to place this in a large bowl because now we can bring everything together. We're going to bring it all together. Okay, so I'm going to get my little mixer here. I'm going to mix it, mix it, mix it really good because I don't want no strings in the potatoes. I'm going to add just a little bit of water. Just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of water. Don't add a lot, you guys, okay? Just enough to where you have like a nice, thick, like mash sweet potatoes like that see that nice thick puree kind of mm-hmm that's all the water you need you can use milk if you want to just get it creamy like that okay now there's our brown butter our brown butter is going in we're gonna mix that on up like that and anytime i make this pie you guys people are like oh my gosh becky what did you put in this pie is this velvet this pie is the bomb so serious there's our white sugar going in okay mix that on in and then we're going to add in our brown sugar light brown sugar just keep that mixer going until it is well combined and then we're going to throw in our slightly beaten eggs all right now this pie is like really rich and sweet and stuff but i love that it still lets that sweet potato flavor shine through i love that about this pie there's my evaporated milk going in just like that because sometimes like i'll taste like a pumpkin pie and i'm like is this pumpkin or sweet potato because it tastes like cinnamon like yeah, I want to I want it to taste like sweet potatoes, you know what I'm saying? And this one does, which is why I like it. All right, so I'm going to mix that on up and then I'm going to add in what's coming up next. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to add in my vanilla extracts, okay? Yum. You can also add in a little bit of rum. A little bit of bourbon if that's your thing. I ain't gonna judge you, honey. All right, so go ahead and keep mixing it up. And this is like marriage proposal pie, you guys. Y'all know I'm always saying, I don't believe in cooking for boyfriends and fiancés, but sometimes, you know, you gotta just be like, look, okay? I am not the one you wanna let get away, okay? And this pie, mm-hmm, yeah, a little reminder for him. Now, here's our spices going in. Cinnamon, nutmeg, a little teeny tiny bunch of clove and ginger, just a little bit. And then I have some pineapple orange juice, just to kind of balance out all that sweetness and stuff a little tartness in there and then i have my flour because you have to add a little bit of flour because we don't want a runny pie i cannot stand a runny um sweet potato pie no uh -uh. so flour helps keep it nice and thick and stuff all right okay so i think that is it that is all the ingredients so now i have my pie crust here mm -hmm. you already know my favorite pie crust recipe you gotta make it nice and buttery and stuff i'm gonna go ahead and press this into my pan and i never par bake my pie crust because with this recipe you don't really have to you know i like it to have that little layer of gooeyness in between that crust like that i'll show you guys what i'm talking about in a minute and i'm losing my voice all right go ahead and shake it to get it nice and even and flat on top we're gonna pop this into the oven 350 for about 55 minutes okay when it come out the top is gonna be a little teeny teeny tiny bit jiggly that's okay we're gonna let it cool off just like that all right, that looks perfect, gorgeous. All right, so to serve this pie, here is how it looks when it's room temperature. It's a little bit nice and fluffy, kind of soft, a um, little bit of um, whipped cream going on, some cinnamon. I kind of prefer it 
cold but this is how it is when it's warm okay beautiful now about the pie crust you guys asked me why do you never ever par bake your crust why don't you do it doesn't the bottom get like soggy or whatever but you guys with this recipe the bottom is always nice and dry look at that it's always nice and dry and crisp and stuff it never gets soggy or wet on me ever that's why I love this pie crust recipe and then there's this little layer right here in the pie crust that top layer right there where the filling has kind of you know soaked into the oh my gosh you guys I live for that layer in the pie crust I love it but yeah you can par bake it if you want to do your thing girl but that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe new videos every week later